hey, Matt, what's better, a remake or a remaster? Oh, man, I would say a remake, especially in the sense that we're talking right now, because nothing really needed to be remastered. Um, This is just more like a preferential, you know, on top of having this luxury of having a, a bot that we could literally plug anything we want into and get everything on the exact same scale no matter so everything's playable together no matter what right but what about like disney movies remake remaster (laughs) well what what did they just remaster like um like are you saying like like remaster like oh we we touched up the footage right like like, the remake is like here's a lion king that's not a cartoon right well there's like re there's the remakes like the disney remakes which are like less good but then I don't even know what a remaster would be. Like, isn't that when they l- used to let things out of the vaults? Like, I don't know. Like, I, I'm trying to think of what's a good, like a similar adjacent lane to what we're about to talk about. And I'm not yeah, sure I, I can find it, you know? I, I really don't know. I, I think, I don't even know if I've ever seen a remastered Disney movie. Well, we'll, we'll just settle this right now. The cards we're about to show are way better than the Disney live action remakes, right? <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll go with that. Hey everyone, welcome to Bourbon Over Baseball. I'm Jeff and we've got Matt here as well. What's going on everyone? So it has been a while. It's been a while. No, God. Yeah, we've Um, we've had a lot of free time, I think. (laughs) It's like I went from having all the free time to none of the free time. And that's what happens when you get a job. Yeah. Yeah. So it's (laughs) it's the unfortunate downsides of having employment, which I kind of didn't have before. So um, so blessing that I have a job, right? Pray emoji. Right. I'm doing it right now, but not yet. Yeah, not in the sense that my showdown life kind of lost a little bit. So yeah, we um, haven't even gotten a pod in a while. No, I I had a couple on deck, and hopefully I can still get them out. We'll, this one will probably come out sooner than those, but um, yeah, it was tough. I just wasn't, um, you know, I I had a weird job situation, and um, I was kind of working part time after I lost my job last October, which is a while ago. So I had a weird stuff for six months, and then finally gotten into something and so um but i'm just i'm going to the office i'm not home you know i'm not really sitting at the office being like let me let me set up this podcast document for (laughs) you know for uh, for with showdown cards and you know i still bring up the bot and stuff of course at work but um but yeah so no it's good it's it's i think it's just for all of us it's good to be back um you know of course world's going back to to normal i've already been playing some showdown uh games in person and um i remembered quickly how much i missed that so um, oh yeah we had a great time yeah it's so it's already yeah i mean god i've already gotten like half the trip. i'm already ready for in person our in-person league to get back together um and it's kind of that's almost like a nice segue because the last league that we had that we drafted and then COVID happened was 2019 and um that kind of leads interestingly into what we're going to talk about here um so um it's kind of a big reveal i don't even know if it's a big reveal or what do you want to call it but we, i think it's a reveal because nobody knows other than three of us no we've we've, maybe maybe a few select others found out but right so i've talked about a little bit but really haven't but basically um we matt myself and uh peter el capitan um have been talking about you know touching up or kind of remaking in a way the uh, the 2019 cards that were made uh on the blog by you know Matt, uh, really was made by um bradley and by bob um they were kind of spearheading that this was a, i think a little bit before matt you had gotten kind no, of no i this was the first year that i was like and i think i made so like bob had his template that you know took all the data pulled everything bradley designed the crap out of these things mm-hmm. and made them look so good and I feel like then Bob's life was getting crazy because of the babies or it was whatever it was, else he does in his life, probably lifting or uh, uh, Pathfinder or it, it everything else that he does. Yeah, it was life. It was life. Yeah, <laughs> and, it was uh, life. But um, then like, so I kind of took it on. I think I made like 20 of the teams. No way. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I knew that. So that, that's Yeah. No, I, I spent like a couple of like a week and just kind of hammered them out trying to get him done fast and and bradley was was busy with his life and like he he knocked out a bunch of teams at the end like he had to make his dodgers because that was his baby and 
you know, I know Bob did, uh, I think he did the Astros and I don't know if we did the Nationals or not. Mm-hmm. Maybe Bradley did those, but like, you know, we got the first, we got the two World Series teams out as quick as we could because, you know, it was right around World Series time, I think. Yeah. And, um, and, and that's one of the, um, I should almost give like historical context for like that set too. Um, it's almost like we're talking about wizards in the set. Like we now have our own sets that kind of have these very distinct yeah. personalities. Like, so 2018 was really the first full set that the, that was uh, the, the first. The, yeah. That the, and the, I didn't the, get involved until the very end. Right. Right. And that the, so the blog had done 2018, 2018 is one of my favorite sets. Um, I won't even say if it, I, I really have never focused in on whether it works alongside other things. I think it does, but um, the cards look beautiful. And part of that too, is that since the cards look beautiful, it took them, it took the guys a long time to yeah. <laughs> design them and so we waited a long time there was a lot of a lot of run up a lot of anticipation a lot of hype and then when they dropped we were freaking out for 2018 and that's still one of my personal favorite so when we went to 2019 we hadn't the template uh really the we were thinking like yo we want to get these cards out faster um and really i should say not when i say we i, I really should be talking <laughs> from the blog for a second because i wasn't i was just kind of a fan waiting for these cards to drop um but the 2019 cards we wanted to have a form or a better format that could be um you could put pictures in the cutouts wouldn't take so long it wasn't so brutal and so um that's kind of uh, where we got on those um and then i guess we should even maybe i should just get to the next slide would say or maybe it's going to say that why are we remaking 2019 <laughs> so so that's that's oh. part of the question is like you have a 2019 set yeah right it's on the blog um, those exist like why do we need to do that and you know just for context like that's people have probably seen these cars before there's a, a beautiful Nolan Arenado um, you know excuse excuse the bleed around the sides right um, yeah. but they're Full-sized. and this is a I mean this is a foil this is I would actually say that the foils in this set in the 2019 set are some of the best looking cards that have probably oh, they, they look so cool they look so cool um, and you know, from a from a stats perspective, from a data perspective, Matt, you can probably give more uh, give more kind of context into um, kind of our thinking with those cards and why we're remaking. Yeah, so uh, 2019, we, like I said, we followed Bob's template, which 2018 was more of like Peter and Bob, and I th- I was a little bit on the on the calculating side. I just wasn't in the creation part yet because I didn't have Photoshop or anything. Yeah, and um, what had happened in 2018 was kind of following Peter's old model, which we realized much later once you you know you have to account for doubles homers singles off pitchers charts not just the batters chart so 2018 there's a lot more doubles on batters charts than they should have and then 2019 is kind of when we were coming to that realization and bob tightened it up in in his formula and peter i think during 2019 was doing the bar exam so he was nowhere to be found when it came to card card making time he he was busy with with life stuff as well so it was kind of like, oh, we're going to run with this. And, you know, Bob's template, I mean, you'll see when we get to the bot cards, it really was pretty close yeah, to what, we... what Matt Gula did with, you know, backtracking through the 2001 set or the 2000 set and, and kind of figuring out how charts were distributed. Yeah, and that's kind of a good point, like of the process, like of what we're doing with this remake. So um, looking at this bot card, so what we're doing is, um, running these cards through the MLB Showdown uh, bot. So showdownbot.com, Matt Gula, great friend um, of all of us, Something, somebody we've been talking to so often um, about his, yeah. his website. If you haven't looked at it as a Showdown fan, go look at it. If you're barely a Showdown fan, I don't know why you're listening to this, um, still still go check it out. <laughs> but definitely go check it out. Pick right, your please favorite ju- baseball player and everything will pop up. Right, put in Mike Trout 2019 and it'll you'll see magic <laughs> happen. I was just showing it to my family the other day, no joke. Um, so this is a so part of this is that in just like you kind of referenced there um in the long story short of the version of the bot is um you know macula and the showdown bot kind of did a almost like a regression analysis on how the points were calculated for a particular set so for 2001 and then uses that exa- exact formula that's created from the regression to create new cards right so like you can basically say hey show me nolan arenado in 2001 or in 2000 and if you like the formats in the later years of showdown you can see those too um and the of course the huge thing there is that all of a sudden you have cards that work right alongside the cards that already exist in the 2001 set right the what we would consider the bible um of showdown right so especially early players right and like i think 2004 gets a lot of praise too and 
this, yeah, to, that's a great point too. And this is, I think this Nolan Arenado, and this is kind of a spoiler. You'll see him show up later because he's freaking great. Um, there's really, it's really close. <laughs> I mean, like there's, yeah. I mean, it's, it's pretty small tweaks um, that you can really see the only big things that change here is, is the outrange. And this mm-hmm. is exactly like you referenced. Uh, Nolan on the on our, the original 2019 cards has the extra double, whereas on the remake he has the one less double. Um, yeah. But but the points, defense, I mean, walk singles, yeah. homers. I mean, they're they're exactly the same. We're talking about very I, slight. I things. think the uh, the funniest story about it is when we when this is just like me and you, like when you're like, hey, let's pick two cards or one card and show them off. I picked Nolan Arenado. Did not know how close it was. Yeah, that made it even funnier. Because, like, there will be players that are different. Like, you can't – everything is not the same because, you know, I think for players that didn't reach the full amount of plate appearances, they may have gotten a penalty in ours. Or they got multiple. They got their at-bats or plate appearances multiplied to reach per 400 plate appearances. So they may have gotten a boost even. So, like, there are some slight differences that you will see. Like, that won't be as close as the Arenado is on all of them. Yeah. Yeah. And like that, and correct me if I'm wrong, but like you said, the doubles, uh, the doubles on hitters charts was a big thing, but then there was yeah. also the question of um, how to handle home runs on pitcher charts. Um, yep. Where, so like we had the, the famous example within our, our, our close circle was uh, Justin Verlander um, who, you know, gave up a, a lot of, he, he only gave up home runs in 2019. Yeah. <laughs> that's all that's he didn't, when he gave up runs, it was only via home run and it was nothing else because dude was just throwing fast fastballs down, you know, it was yeah. a lot of fastballs. So, so and I, I think one of the other things that the bot really taught me that I'd never thought of either. Cause like I said, we didn't take some of these things into consideration is lower control pitchers give up their chart more, which means they give up more home runs. Yep. So you can see how a three control pitcher who may by our calculations deserve a home run on his chart won't get one because he's going to give up more to the average hitter anyway. Yep. Yeah. So, so that's kind of, that was one of the best and most interesting examples was actually Justin Verlander who we'll get to um, that, you know, I think that we ended up and this was we for the original set, he ended up with two doubles. Yeah. Um, it was, it was a bad miscalculate. That one card we will take full responsibility for a bad calculation. Right, right, right. So, um, and you'll see how instead he has a card that is, pretty monstrous you know pretty pretty much a monster right um but but like you said i mean there's you know um hitters get outs on their charts pitchers get you know are you know you give up advantage as a pitcher there are doubles on pitchers charts that happen for the hitters so it's so it's it's really interesting because like there's a lot more going on this is kind of like the extra like layers of showdown that um we've considered now a lot more like years later so this is kind of what fuel us and saying you know what um of course, we all personally love the 2001 look as well. That's just something that I think myself, right. Matt, Peter, like we, we've just, uh, the 2001 set is like perfect to me, even though I know it's kind of not, but it's really close. So um, we just said, you know what, I would, I think we all kind of agreed, you know, we'd love to have a set that we can just perfectly mix in with that, um, you know, with the 2001 set and play with it. So um, that's kind of why we got here. And really it was just kind of a yeah. fun exercise. And um, I, it was a fun exercise. And wasn't it just me and you talking? We were on like a, on a Wednesday, I think it was when we were playing. We were playing our league game out. I think it was came over. I think I was at maybe, but I think I was at work. Oh, it was before that. Yeah, it was that yeah. day. I think though. I think I said I remember being at work and I was just like putting in some 2019 cards just for out of curiosity. And I just I think yeah. I just said to you like, "Yo, like we should," or maybe you made I don't know, but I was just like, "Yo, we should make some players from that set." And then you said yeah. we should just make the the whole set and i was like because why not yeah and i'm like and that's kind of the one of the amazing things about the bot and again like major shout out to matt we will will always you know praise him eternally but the amazing thing is is that now we can focus more on the look and feel uh, yeah you know the the aesthetics of the card um and not really need to worry about the formula because we were you know i you know i like to believe that we were getting close to to what gula had already done and really at this point we would just be it was very close right gula's he's making slight changes all the times but we were Mm -hmm. at this point i feel like we all looked around and we're like okay this this is right (laughs) you know we all kind of felt like this is this is our this is our new bible in a sense for like creating new showdown so um and of course the the template just looks amazing he's gotten so just eerily close to the original card so um so anyway 
all that said yeah i I think another fun story to tell from that is like how we were talking about when we kind of came up with this i you know i of us talking it was a wednesday and we were done on sunday yeah we (laughs) we just like i mean it's no surprise that any all of us are just like once we get driven and kind of passionate on something like we just don't really stop <laughs> you know you, yeah you went into card cutting like you know player cutting out like you know mania um you know peter and i were tossing them in um you know tossing them into the bod and like you know uh and and for anybody who doesn't know um the stats alternates are is a really interesting you know i don't think everybody maybe knows that exists but basically um you can see alternate versions of the same card that might net you different results in showdown world compared to their actual results so um we did a lot of that just because we wanted to get you know really close to on on base and of course get close to average and slugging but um no but we could focus on the on the on the look and feel and then yeah then let the bot do its thing and then we came out with these just gorgeous cards so um so yeah done quickly so well so so what we want to do to right now um and we're going to try to keep it as short as we can which probably won't happen um but want to just go through some highlights at each each position so we pulled out you know about four cards for each position that we thought um you know were for the best um I will preface right now by saying there's a lot of Astros on here and I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> none of us want that, but we, it was hard to ignore them. Um, but uh, yeah, we're just going to bounce around positions and, uh, and really just show you and uh, we'll keep starters for last because they're great. So stick around, but uh, yeah, anything you want to just say? Oh, before one, we... Yeah. One more thing. Cause I sure. thought about it before um, part of the thing with 2019. So looking at average hitter data and average pitcher, uh, pitcher data is what is kind of how you determine what your average on base and control is for your set and 2019 is the closest to the actual 2000 season like in real mlb terms of average numbers so like it almost felt like we needed to remake it in a one form it's like the it's like the actual it's like the step brother or sister to (laughs) to 2001 because like the 2000 set yeah I think average was down on base was like a little down and then slugging was like the exact same because everybody swings for the fences now. Yeah. But like, it was the closest one of all the years since that got like that close. And it is, it's an interesting set. And I I think it, and again, it's, I love how each set has even each year has its own distinct personality. Oh yeah. I mean, there this, this year does. I mean, not only do you have just out of this world pitching, but there's out of this world hitting. And there's a yeah. lot of it. And like, I don't know if we're going to have that as much with like the current, you know, season 2021 and, um, and it's going to affect how that set kind of feels. And that's okay. Cause I want that. Like I want to play the, with the set and kind of know kind of the vibe of what it is. So, um, well, yeah, let's jump into it. So let's, let's hop go. in, let's hop into some catchers. So, um, I love starting here because the first card, I feel like with Mitch, the, we everybody's always, favorite debate we had the eternal debate of garver versus tatis jr yeah. which for for a while i would say at this point now feels over <laughs> like yeah i don't know I, I, well because i think some people started taking it we meant like the actual player and not the card right and we were talking and i never meant the player <laughs> right, right i always took it as like the actual players and then like two years later we're still having this conversation it's like no 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 this is even in real life this is over but like the card yeah. the question was always this this crazy mitch garver card versus and he gets a boost now he's not a plus three catcher he's a plus six now that's awesome yeah I mean, so it, the debate might spark back up i don't know I don't know. We we might have to we might I might have to unarchive that channel or that channel in our <laughs> Discord and retalk about it. But yeah, but you can take a look. I mean, Garver's out of this world. Um, yeah. Very similar. Uh, you know, Will Smith card. Um, yeah. I actually he didn't, probably, get, he didn't get a card in the original set either. Oh really? Why? Do you know yeah. why? So the the Dodgers had th- uh, Russell Martin and Austin Barnes were their main catchers, and they brought Will Smith up later. So like where he fell with all the Dodgers was low on plate appearances. So we had to cut, you know, we had to make cuts. And so since he had lower plate appearances, we just didn't take him over the other catchers, but I said, screw it and added him because he was really good. Yeah. And like, now I feel like we, I think we've been talking about giving him a quote unquote foil, which I, I love. Yeah. I, I love the concept of just even low of plate appearances, you know, uh, just players playing like, you know, like a Will Smith, like, um, yeah. and we'll have some others, but um, you know, little drop off here. I mean, I actually, actually really quickly, 
that Will Smith uh, card is so draftable for 450. Oh, <laughs> I yeah. mean, that is like, I love on base eights that can mash, and my God, can he mash. So, yeah. Um, but then, of course, Real Muto rules. Uh, Grindal also rules. I mean, those are two also. He's a big walk guy for you. Yeah, I mean that that Grandal card, I I love it. I I it, it it's so good. I love the one like I love how every the only outs on these catchers are strikeouts, which is just so. I, I think it's very prevalent in 2019 because <laughs> I think that I think they set a strikeout record that year too. I think you're on right. Top of home run. I think you're right because that's like that Verlander card. I mean, we're gonna get to the starters, but yeah. there's there's a lot of strikeouts. Um, yeah. So well, let's let's he- jump ahead to first base. Um, so one thing I should even preface here is that, um, there's probably some first baseman here that you're like, and I can think of one and I won't mention who that you're like, yo, he was played first base. He's really good. Why isn't he here? And like, don't worry, it's probably going to show up. We had some shared guys <laughs> and I tried to condense it down to four to kind of make this viewable. So, um, so we'll get there. Yeah. Don't worry. But, and actually I should even say, say for me personally, like, um, th- like 2020 was really the first season. Like, of course I was, I've been a fan of baseball i would say casual baseball fan especially of cleveland for a long time um entire baseball entire mlb not really not really until 2020 like and showdowns kind of helped me get there and of course this year 2021 i'm very zoned in on but 2019 is a little foreign to me like i just you mm-hmm. know i know a lot of it just through like showdown you know so um so so a lot of these guys is kind of interesting seeing especially if they're great now or kind of yeah. where they're coming from or you just where they're not anymore like so anyway um so I just wanted to preface that, but yeah, first base, a lot of great guys here. I mean, yeah. um, I don't know as much about David Freeze, but but that card. He's is- he's one that got penalized in our first set, I believe, because he had low plate appearances. So now his actual stats count. But, you know, because the Dodgers move, I, I sent you that text about, like, their most played lineup was used three times. Yeah. Because they, they just, they shift everybody around and yep. they just have so many good players. Yeah, and and that card is is uh again a lot, a lot. Josh Bell, our man with the only uh, ground ball out, amazing, yeah. <laughs> um, a lot of strikeouts. But but I mean, yeah, that that card for ten, and I mean, God, the double at fifteen. I mean, it's it's kind of crazy to think. Um, I I mean that card for five twenty uh, compared to Alonzo, which is uh, Alonzo yeah. is really close to Will Smith. Um, but my gosh, only forty extra forty difference points, like. I, I'm a big fan of the double. I just think the double, if you can maximize doubles consistently across your lineup, things will go well. Um, mm-hmm. And you know, of course, Alonzo Homer at 15 is just bananas, but um, yeah. yeah, it's all personal preference, but yeah. I mean, as you can see, Marcana, like another just great card. Um, love the flexibility to outfield plus one as well. Um, and then Josh Bell. I mean, this was, I think this is one of the last foils he got before he kind of, uh, just was not as good, you know, he was not very good last year. Not, that's he, for was, sure. he was not good last year. He had a really bad card last year. And, uh, and I don't think he, I think he's been okay this year, uh, but I he's haven't. on Washington. I don't, I haven't really seen much about Washington this year other than that Kyle Schwarber just hits home runs. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just bananas. So, um, but also this Josh Bell card for four thirty is great. Uh, yeah. you know, on base nine double at 14, um, that kind of feels like that's like a Jose Vidro card right there. Um, yeah, I feel like the fun thing with 2001 set and like because I really wasn't very familiar with the 01 set until this year when I played like a random tournament or something. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, you know, the batters oh, for our 01 league, like our, our batters points are so much different. And it's kind of interesting to watch them like be a little lower because the pitching is more expensive, which I feel like is a better example of baseball. Like you, you need pitching. Like you obviously need hitting too, but like pitching is key. Yep. To build a good team. Yeah, it's and this one has it, and um, it's interesting because in twenty in this set, like the original set, I went, I, I still was using my crazy pitchers only, like basically just load up with the best pitchers possible. Yeah. Um, and that team now that we've kind of played it out has done pretty good, but uh, not. Oh, I don't know. It's 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 a. I still think that's probably a safest a safer bet and. Mm-hmm. um we're all trying some different stuff you know with how we uh how we play but yeah no you're you're absolutely right so um well let's uh let's hit the second base so um again some more guys you'll see show up later um just in different capacities um i put them on the right here just because i had a room to lead center field and then i moved to second base but um <laughs> oh my gosh Catel Marte is just yeah. just fantastic <laughs> it's just that's the, a really good card that was one of the best cards in the og set um yeah. and uh for good reason 
uh, very similar in a lot of ways. I mean, there's, there's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that card. I mean, no, I mean, he's fun. Like in your, if you're in a league where even if it's just a 20 man, but if you're doing like rotation days where guys need off, you can bounce this guy around oh to, fit, to fix some needs. And I, I love him. He, he was a fun player to watch in 2019 too, just because he did everything that year. Yeah. Uh, months. That was also, that was kind of, this was kind of the year of like, of course the Astros are great. Uh, the Dodgers also just had so many great cards and they're going to yeah. continue showing up. So Max Muncy card is just wonderful. Uh, Keston Hura, I think I hopefully said that right. I probably didn't. And then uh, Howie Kendrick. Um, okay. Let's hop over to shortstop, um, which is uh, a lot of fun. <laughs> no surprise yeah. here. Um, I, I was just joking uh, off air with Matt that um we got another incredible Trevor story card. What a, what a freaking surprise. I mean, my, yeah. my God, the guy, um, I feel like I'm trying to think of like the, we only got two years of the originals, but like, it's been fun with the new sets. Cause like there is very clear, like there's guys that just always have amazing showdown cards. Like a, now and trevor story to me is actually that guy like i'm more than anyone else more than a trout in a way he just always has like the most like showdowny showdown cards you know just because yeah. i mean he has always has triple double sing, single plus um fast as hell crazy defense the on base is usually a little lower but that's what you get for an insane chart and look he has an insane chart you know so um so i, I want to say like a rod like if I'm, if I'm going to short stops like from the original set you got a rod that was really good yeah dude but and he was good after so he probably would have had incredible cards in 02 and 03 and but um i guess with the lower on base i don't know maybe you know because it shortstop at that time you had garcia para you had jeter you know you had three studs and then you still had you know like miguel tejada was starting to come on yeah dude. so there's well, probably plenty of guys that shortstop never runs out of people apparently yeah um and we got to get to our boy fernando tatis jr a little weird that it's not the brown um i i like it this, i like this is the, the last year of the blue the last year of the blue which i actually don't even hate the blue but the brown is just my freaking yeah. favorite and it's just so definitive and um you're gonna love the new what the new cards look like but but like we said before like this was mitch garver's card versus this tatis jr card and a 520 versus 530 they're very different <laughs> <laughs> and uh they're very different um and i think i'd probably go for this tatis jr card but uh but man they're just they're so good. Uh, they're, yeah, I need to see how the rest of my team set up. But I mean, with with this card, you literally are getting a nine on base and a speed A, who still homers at seventeen. So it's not like he's a slouch in the power category either. But you know, you're getting a triple out of him. You're getting two single pluses. So like, I mean, he's going to create a lot. It just depends. Like if I have, you know, a fast eight on base shortstop already, I'm not going to take him. I'll take Mitch Garver for my power. Yeah. But if I have power, maybe I'll take Tatis to hit lead off. Yeah, and like in our rules, like a uh, single plus a 13 is basically a double, like against unless you're against yeah. the best catchers in the game, like then maybe you unless don't, Roberto but, Perez is there. Yeah, exactly. And um, and I've always said, like, you, if you're going to spend over 500 points on a hitter, they need to be doing so many different things at once. And he does. Um, mm-hmm. There's really no his charts. Amazing. The defense is the, probably the defense is the worst part, but it's fine. Um, yeah. but the, char- the chart does it. The speed does it. The on base nine is still really good with comparison with the chart. So um, and then getting over here, of course, more Astros. Correa is on here, but it's a it's a I think he's the first Astro you keep saying. Oh Astros. no! They're gonna show I think up. <laughs> we're about to get we're about to get flooded with them. No, I, ma- I technically is the first Astro. I didn't make them, and I made these kind of out of order. I was just like, oh, you okay. sent me. So <laughs> I, I, rich, I was going like third base, and then bullpen, and then starters and catcher. I was just going in a weird order. So there were so many Astros to start, and then like <laughs> there was only a couple I got to like the bullpen. I was like, I'm not, I'm not putting them on here. <laughs> no, Will Harris. I don't freaking care. So, um, but Correa is great fine uh marcus simeon um also great i wanted to you know get some more uh kind of some different teams on here so love to see some yeah. uh, athletics show up in here but um but let's hop over third base and now here we go we're gonna we're gonna finally see some uh, oh look another one yeah oh look one of the best cards in the entire set kind of you know bregman wow yeah. um it's also kind of crazy before i even get to bregman um i, I have <laughs> i know we kind of all like arenado's cards have performed or sorry not arenado rendon's cards have 
uh, Rendon's cards who have performed so poorly for us in so many leagues that we look at them kind of like negatively now. <laughs> but like this card is great. Like yeah. it just doesn't make any sense. So Greg, I know, Greg will like it because there's only three outs on it. Yeah, it, it's it's. I have him on my team in my in my our 2020 league, which is pretty you know very close in the formulas to this. And um, that this this card's awesome. I mean, it's for it's probably maybe slightly expensive. It's like this is like a it's like a, a Arenado or a, oh my god, I'm so fo- fixed it on Arenado on Tatis Senior um, mm-hmm. card. He was like, is was that five seventy or was he five? He is five seventy, but he has a speed A, and that was the original. That, that was, was two thousand. See, and that's yeah. one. Th- that's one thing I did is that like, and I think you know if you don't know, like two thousand and two thousand one, the sets um, were done very differently in formula um i think that one thing that's an interesting exercise is if you go to the bot and put in a car this is my trout 2019 and um and put them in is 2000 um they were very they were have heavily weighting um batters and yeah. you can see that in 2001 they kind of planed it off a little bit and brought their points down a, a touch just to make it kind of make more sense and so you'll see that there's actual point differences between the sets for the same player just because that's how the set was actually conceived itself which i think is um and again it's all kind of coming back to um we could (laughs) in a really weird way we could make a 2019 set but make it in 2000 format and then those cards (laughs) would which now we're starting to get to like inception shit and like way different but (laughs) but uh but that's what we could have done we just chose 2001 because we love 2001 so i think a really interesting thing here like looking at these cards bregman feels underpriced he does with um with the multiple I, i know it's because he's gonna have a higher on base percent than than uh rendon or he'll have a, a, a lower average, I guess, than rundown. So I know that gets a little affected in the point system, which I don't, I think that affects slugging too. He has less doubles, it does, but yeah. it just feels like for 500 points, I would, you know, you're getting a 10 out through three, you can play two positions efficiently. AL MVP. Did you win AL MVP or did Trout win it that year? Uh, I think, I don't remember. I wish I knew uh, as much about yeah. that year. It, it was either him or Trout. I he, mean, because Bregman was incredible that year. He, whether he, he cheated or not right right and like i, I, don't, think, I don't know if he partook or if he just watched um and i think like we've I, 2019 was i think it was hopefully over by then you know we don't <laughs> know we know 2017 was rough um but um no i'm with you man like i remember in 20 in the original the og 2019 set bregman had one of the best cards yeah um and so i always kind of you know just knew that he had one of the best seasons just through that yeah, he did it's still a great card i just felt like he probably should be probably closer to rendon's point area i totally agree he could even probably be about the same and still be like uh yeah no this is totally usable so yeah th- i think i mean honestly i think th- what rendon does better is he gets a double earlier mm-hmm. and less walk so i get the 40 point difference but I was just, it just kind of stood out to me that yeah. was it but bregman feels like a first round pick if we were if we were drafting. oh yeah i i I, I think that's a, a safe bet. So, um, okay, let's go. Well, uh, really quick, Arenado kind of looked at him. He's great. Yep. You know that. Um, and then Juan Mancada. So uh, uh, we nice wanted to get a White Sox on there. Yeah, we had we had to get him. Uh, we had to get some White Sox on here. This is like right before they were about to hit the precipice of being like actually fantastic yeah. all the time. So can't wait to see him keep developing because it'll probably keep being awesome cards. Yeah, agreed. So and those White Sox cards always just look freaking awesome so um all right let's uh, i think we're hopping to the outfield yep so we're going to do some some left field right field specifically so uh you'll see some of uh on some outfield guys later but um this gives us uh two of the best cards best hitters in the set um i think number one which is number one hitter i believe in the newly remade set is christian yep. Kellich. so um and uh yeah you can see it <laughs> i mean it's you it's can uh, see why yeah it's i mean walk range is a little it, it, it's you know about what's that's five or six there it's six but six I mean, yeah it's still single plus a 13 to speed a on base 10 like the outfield defense i wish it was a little greater but this card is just so good so um, good so 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 good and i think our ours was 620 was he 650 and trout I think was, he was 650 because he was a no, he was 650. I think Trout was like 690. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, because because Yelich had like basically the bonds card in ours. Yep. He had like the 01 bonds card. Yeah. In the this, first one. So that card's just amazing. 
Um, and that card just looks so good. His pose looks so good. Yeah. Um, Judge, you know, always great. I mean, that was right. that was uh was it was that really his breakout year? Was it twenty eighteen? No, it was twenty seventeen. Was when he hit like fifty something homers. That was it. Because twenty, we never got. I think you remade it. We made. We, I, know, I think Peter made it in the bot for sure. Yeah. So and um, I think Bob may have made it early on, like one of like on the blog, like way back when. And then you remade it yourself for. The oh may day <laughs> may may the fourth be with you day where we gave judge a red lightsaber and put vader yeah. in the background so, um, <laughs> one of my favorites ever but um jordan alvarez um guys definitely you know definitely looking at a walk or at some you know home run right there oh, yeah um, that definitely broke a light bulb on the scoreboard that card is also just so and, good. and th- a big thing for this one is in our original set he was just a dh he got out full eligibility from the bot which makes him even more valuable you're totally right oh my god i forgot about the dh thing because i was thinking i'm like why doesn't he sh- why didn't he show up more in our leagues and our blind drafts yeah. and that's why um and then juan soto right at the beginning of Juan soto mania which which is just yeah. awesome. So, um, so some great guys there. Um, let's hop to center field. I feel like we're we're playing. Oh, look, another national now too. Yeah, <laughs> but but I like that team. So that's the big difference. <laughs> no, God, I, I promise. I promise. I'm not filtering out every Astro here. There, there's been a lot already, and you'll see some more. So we're at three apiece. Ast- yeah. Astros exactly. And there's a, like we we were making like writing down who we thought should get foils and like. You could make the argument to give like seven guys on that team a foil <laughs> out of like 60. And I'm like, we can't do that. <laughs> like, we can't yeah. do that. Even the, even in the original set, I think the Yankees had like five, four, four, five or four. It was, but it was yeah. a lot. And like, that was the most. Right. So, um, so let's hit center field. Um, this is just a great crew. Um, I really yeah. like this. So of course, Mike Trout, I mean, it's funny that Trout, I think you're right. It was higher than Yelich. So it's amazing that it kind of flips there, but yeah, his, he didn't get the 11 from the bot. I think we gave him an 11 so that we had an 11, but right. he was right on that borderline of a 10 with two outs or an 11 with like four or five. Outs. That's right. That's exactly. We, we, I think we just want, I remember us talking about like having one 11 and who was closest yeah. to it and it was Trout. And then of course that kind of changes chart, but it's interesting because even with the 11, um, I remember his chart was very similar that mm-hmm. um, at least maybe less home runs or something like that, but like are more outs, but um, the walk range I remember was just so substantial, yeah. but, um, but man, for six ten, like speed a I walk all you want. I'm going to steal second, yeah. you know, like that's fine. So, um, so I, I love, I love this card. I love it so much. Um, and yeah, uh, yeah, and I, I like this card specifically because if you go on the bot, it's it recommends like a name and it recommends a year, and that's this card, um, right? <laughs> so, which is just so great. So it's like kind of an iconic showdown bot card for me now. Um, but uh, you know, Gallo just rips. No surprise there. Yeah, um, it's, let's talk about basically the true outcome. Talk about a walk range. <laughs> oh my god, that's just like, I, you know, that's just a lot. It's just hard to spend five ten on like what like how many walks is that nine that's walks? nine walks dude yeah that's but so- five homers <laughs> but five homers <laughs> yeah i don't know um love the brian reynolds card um i was i know we were trying to cut down to kind of show less cards to, so we could show them off a little more and um yeah i i was glad i almost cut him out but i was like no we, we i can throw it i think this is where i took out Marte, put in uh threw him on the other one and oh okay love to get a, a pirates card but hey there's two pirates cards on here we're it's gonna be yeah. new, gonna be the new astros so um <laughs> Nope. But, uh, no, because uh, there's number four. Oh yeah. Oh wait. Damn. We're two years later. <laughs> like we know yeah. what happens. So, um. But uh. Yeah. No. So that, that card is a lot of fun for 370. Yeah. He'll, he's definitely like a draftable guy. He fits into like a, any anywhere on your outfield. Plus, like for 370, you got some room, wiggle room. Yeah. And honestly, like this is like one of probably my favorite design cards you've made like that we've made, you know, that you'd make like the, the background with his Jersey just looks perfect. I mean, I've loved, I've always loved the the pirates cards for that. Yeah. And uh, George Springer, another Astro. Woohoo. No, he's another really, Astro that went bonkers. Really, really good though. And honestly that pose and him in that orange Jersey looks pretty rad. I just, I hate to say it though. So, um, <laughs> so let's get to some outfield guys and a lot of guys that we couldn't forget here. And really the biggest one here is another one of the best cards, best hitters in the set, uh, which is Cody bellinger so um yeah it is this card is just so good i mean honestly if i had to go between this card trout and yellowch i might be picking bellinger i don't know like it's it's tough with this with the with the speed a um 
you know, getting, getting on, but a trout does the same. It's real, uh, but he has flexibility. He's a little better in the outfield. I think trout was a plus a plus one center field. Yeah, um, he was. So uh, I'm taking Ballinger every time. Yeah. That's interesting. I, I mean, mean, a plus two anywhere you that ultimate flexibility. Yep. Plus first base. He's a 10 speed, a 20, just like trout. He has two more outs on his chart. Yeah. That's the biggest but, downside. I mean, everything else just, leans bellinger for me less walks i think he has the same amount of doubles or no he has one more double so he starts extra base at 15 yeah so i I don't know i just i personally lean that way i think it's just because trout's so good every year it's like oh look mike trout oh look mike trout whereas like this is bellinger's breakout year yeah yeah agreed um this is another like this and um, you know, Cattell and uh, really Yelich in a, in a way, this is like, I have cards that I know are just so like firmly planted within that season, uh, yeah. you know, in that set in a sense. So like, and he's one of them and it's, oh, yeah. so it's kind of great. It was really great to kind of put them back in and see that, Oh, they're still great. <laughs> you know, like we just weren't that far off. We just, Nothing needed to, changed. we just, right. We just needed to like, you know, kind of smooth the edges a bit and we just still have cards that just, um, just can just smash. So, um, Mookie, of course, rules. He looks great. Uh, so great. Um, you know, probably the biggest downside there is, and th- this is actually one thing I should even mention is that um, probably one of the, the the only downsides of us kind of redoing, uh, you know, through the bot and using the 2001 format is that we kind of lose the speed uh, variability that yeah. uh, we had kind of loved so much, you know, that I love so much. Um, but you know, that said, it it was a it's a good concession, and again, I it, think it's a better trade off. Exactly. If it's, it, the, I'd rather take that with so much more consistency across the board in terms of defense on base chart um, and, and the pitchers for that. Um, and that's yeah. really the only thing we have to give up. And again, they, they, they fit very, 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 very well um, within, um, you know, within the 2001 uh, cards. So um, Acuna, hell yeah. So great. I <laughs> love the, this yeah. card. This card ama- <laughs> that looks just so amazing. Um, and then uh, David Dahl got a got a uh, David actually, Dahl to say like ro- so many Rockies they just yeah they just three so so bad so um all right so that kind of rounds out the hitters really gives you a great personality of this set um, let's hop I think I hit the bullpen next we've only got a couple slides here left so bullpen um, I probably could have done two slides of bullpen but just wanted to cut it off at this yeah. four but um. I mean, Brandon Workman is just so incredible. Good. Just, just. I, re- I remember when we got like when we made the the original set. I was like, man, I must not have watched Red Sox games or something in 2019. Because like this guy is incredible. I've never even heard of him. No, same. I remember we got the set and I had this card and I was like, huh? And given I was not like super paying attention to that season, but I, I at least like knew players from a 10,000 foot view, and I just never heard. I knew I knew Chapman. I knew Hader. Um, no idea who Workman was, and like, yeah, right. this. I mean, this is this card is so good. Um, and um, also, I love mentioning that, like, now that we're gonna like we're kind of adopting the 2001 format, um, we're going back to strikeouts not being first, and it's gonna just yeah. when it comes to like scoring games, like in our leagues, it's just gonna keep throwing me off. I'm never, I'm never gonna know what a one is basically. So, yeah. um, but it, but it's still great. But um, Workman's of course great. Chapman always just has a just bananas card um a hater i was so was hater in 2018 had the two ip um but i yeah. think in 2019 he didn't get that but still no he didn't dude and and one thing that's just worth mentioning i mean um just i just know this just because it just happened like had to hold a game i was playing our boy greg uh when when dance repeat and i you know he i had i think i had uh i had um really good reliever in crazy high fly ball range right crazy low like like it was there was a big fly ball range that started at like 13 or 14 something mm-hmm. to be said from a guy that his fly ball starts at 17 and like most of everything <laughs> else there just as, i mean i get it's a more, strikeout it's just strikeout <laughs> it's just strikeout and like that's he has 11 strikeouts on his chart right like i if you want guy gets on third somehow against josh Hader, chances are he's not going to make it home on a fly ball but um and then uh yasmiro uh tatis hope i'm butchering that but yeah, That's this, a P. Um, there we go. This card is, is, is also great. And like I said, we had Will Harris. I know we had another Astro that, um, I yeah, just, Will Harris and, 
Presley, Ryan Presley. Uh, Ryan Presley, right, right. So um, they were in the 290 range, very similar charts. But, um, I mean, you've got six. I think the best – I think that they're – these guys are all Tier 1. Um, I don't think mm. there are actually – Hater is a Tier 2, and Petit is a uh, – is he actually Hater and Workman are uh, twenty two, so that makes them a tier one. And uh, Petit Chapman's is a... a tier two, and Petit's a tier zero, which is interesting that he's a tier zero. Yeah, but he's got the double. It's real. That's a really interesting question. I think I'm taking Workman every single time, like even for the extra money, um, just because. Well, that... Yeah, because they need a twenty to even start moving runners. Yeah, like give me give me all those walks. So, um, so that that's really interesting. So, and it's it's that I think this is a great like how the bots just been able to nail is so great is that like yeah. cards are all different and we've always talked about in terms of tiers as a kind of a way to match them up and this is like you're seeing that happen like we have we have you know three different tiers going on right now in front of us, um, but they're all very close in terms of what you value. So, um, all right. So we've really talked this whole time. This leads into um, the starters only showing for. Um, and you know, this is kind of a good mention. We'll, we'll talk about this more later, but all these cards are going to, we're going to get a blog post up. They're going to be available so you can see them all, but we're going to show four of these starters, um, and they're great. So here we go. So, um, wow. Some familiar faces, you know, some people <laughs> yeah. we're going to, we well, we're seeing then we're seeing now, and we're going to probably continue seeing, but I, I um, think you should have put the ground on a separate slide and name this one team spider tag, right? <laughs> <laughs> no cole de grom like glass now they could be yeah this i could just have put spider tack at the top instead of spiders. i don't think the ground is part of it i think no it's, I, I i i just hear garrett cole crying and tyre glass now crying Verlander's hurt so he can't do anything about it i guess but it's, it's definitely yeah. those two no you're right de grom should have been like completely clean he, i don't think he's doing it i think the guy's just a fractal freak of nature and, and that's the thing like you know like garrett cole oh like even if he is using it like he's still a really good pitcher like he still went out after they changed the rules outside of what he did today but the first start he was still went like six or seven innings and gave up like four hits like it's not like it, that's what makes him a great pitcher it just made him even better yeah and that's and that's really we could talk forever like that's that's really the whole thing is that like um if you if everybody was doing it and you could just use it to get just that much better to be the best of the best then and that's and that's what trevor bauer did and he was you know yeah. pretty, pretty and he was about, very vocal <laughs> he was very open about it and that's that's appreciated um you know and i hope that that was hopefully part of the change uh, i don't love trevor bauer but i'll give credit there but um but looking back at the the naive days of 2019 where um, <laughs> every single hand in this picture is just covered in spider tack and in sunscreen <laughs> and in rosin i mean i don't even know what's in glass now's hair his hair usually looks great um so there's probably some weird stuff in there but um we've got just just uh we've got four just bananas good cards here yeah um, you know i feel I think like glass now is hard to justify it's hard because he's only five innings pitch, but you're probably going to stretch him at least one more inning. Yeah. I mean, for the, I mean, for the, the lower points for Verlander going seven with the control, but giving up the yeah. double, I mean, it, that's it's the even, lower slug. It's the lower slug that gives glass now the extra points. Exactly. And that's, and that's a good example of the, like Verlander that, you know, he had a pretty, um, you know, he kind of had a higher slugging just because he gave up a lot of home runs. That's all he gave up. Um, and you know, that didn't translate into, we have to give this guy a home run or two doubles. Like we're just going to give him the one double and know that he might, he's going to give up charts and get home runs. So, um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, that Verlander card is just, I mean, I, I think it's the I best. Mean, he's incredible. It was, his season was incredible. Like the 2019 Astros were incredible, but like when you look at Verlander's pitching stats and Cole's even too, like they were just unbelievable. And then they had one of the best offenses ever. Yep. Yep, it's it's god damn. Um Verlander I think is my is probably the I think the best card in the set. I know that Yelich is number 1 at, at 650 or uh, actually no, I think Verlander is number 1 at 640 cuz uh no, yeah, glass now. A <laughs> glass now you're oh my god, I'm blind. Um I think Verlander though, even with the points I think he's one. who you take. I mean, he, you're getting a complete game probably every time he starts. Yep. Yeah, and he's not And and even Cole and DeGrom you're probably getting close to a complete game every time they start. Yeah, I mean, even I'll take. I mean, really, just Degrom is Verlander, just one minus one IP, um, yeah. in, in, at least in the just from the the hits and the outs and stuff. So, um, 
and this is this this starters list just continues. Um, we yeah. so with the fact that we start at 650 and end at 600 in terms of who we show just shows you that oh yeah, there's a lot, there's a ton of 500 point guys in this set. There's a lot of studs. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, you're gonna you know kind of like I said before, what we're gonna do is you know probably have a blog post up. Once we have that, we'll put it in the description of this video and. Um, and you know, maybe even just a direct download to the Google drive or something that I think we're going to throw it on. But, um, if you want to save these for yourself, um, you know, kind of print them out for yourself, like, go yeah. ahead. We, we encourage that. Like we, you know, we put the work in there for, of course, for ourselves to have them, but you know, if people here want them, um, you know, that, that's something we encourage. So, um, and I think the best thing to say with it too, is it's 610 cards. Yeah. We didn't really say that. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it is, a it's it's the whole set it is a set <laughs> it's a set and uh um, and if you feel like you needed you know 25 man rosters the bot will do the rest of the work for you that's you the, only need to make like another 100 guys right and that's the just the amazing part about it um is that we kind of talked about like should we just go even more crazy and we're like okay gotta gotta put the boundaries up a little bit you know just gotta put the we can't just make like a thousand card set here but the insane thing is we can and that's kind of all yeah. testament to the bot and the fact that um, especially too, if you, if you don't even want the player images, or maybe you do, and you don't want to do the cutouts. I mean, one thing I do all the time is I go on there and I use the full image of the player and just, just have it in there. And that's kind of an ode back to 2019. Cause the, um, I know the Arenado card was a foil, but um, the original 2019 cards show the full kind of picture photo of the player. And that was kind of part of this, um, the kind of, process we set up that was so efficient time that we could, saver <laughs> yeah it was just a time saver cutting out cutting out players used to be just a just such a time consuming effort and um the fact that we could just throw a photo of the player on the field and not cut anything out was just made everything easier so if you i yeah. go do i go do that all the time especially for older players um and so i go do that if you want to make start making more cards so um that was a big boost for us too is you know i like we said we made all like did all these cutouts i still had a 200 picture 2019 folder that never got used because we changed the style we were doing so I, we got a nice little head start out of this yeah dude and one and the one thing too is that a lot of these cards you had like you said you had the cutouts we i love seeing the ones that show up again um in like yeah. the, there's there's some there's not a ton like i've no it's it's um but a lot of it's a lot of the big players of course but i love seeing that oh i remember that card on the 2019 og set and it's fun to see it again so i if i noticed one i grabbed that picture oh 100 on purpose right like brian, brian reynolds i know is one for sure i i did that one on purpose to grom because i love i know bradley did this the mets and i love that look so i saw that picture out yep yeah, maybe I'm trying to think of any. I'm definitely definitely the Reynolds because that card, that picture just looks amazing. Uh, but Workman's the same. Yep, I know that. Um, Mookie Betts. Uh, yeah, Mookie Betts is the same, but it got blown up. Yep. Oh, that's true. Uh, that's and that's like a, Alvarez. That's another interesting thing is that like the I'm sure everybody knows this by now, but two thousand two thousand cards was more of a full body 2001 yeah. was more of a pretty much torso and up um and so that was also something that you know matt when you were cutting out like we tried to you know you tried to keep as consistent as possible with the og um 01 set so yeah it was, and it was we had a fun time with it you know we kind of delegated what each of us were gonna do and we did it very efficiently which is great to know for the end of this season and yeah. what we can really do as a team heck yeah it's a little it's almost a it's almost a little bit of a tease for 2021 yeah. perhaps so um well yeah well heck yeah well i hope um everybody had fun listening to this like i said we just wanted to get together talk through why we're doing this show you some fun stuff and then uh you know pretty soon uh it's just going to be done and it's going to be out there so probably yeah. you know pr pretty much in the scope of i don't know less than two weeks we were like you know conceived the idea made the cards made the pot had did this pod release the cards so yeah um this may have been conceived on a golf course i don't remember oh I think it <laughs> we were doing so badly at because we were playing so badly we yeah just... we were just <laughs> man i played a course with only sand traps and we were just like you know you know it'd be more fun remaking 2019 so that's probably exactly what happened so um give me another beer yeah exactly <laughs> give me another bud light orange um <laughs> heck yeah well um well, Matt, thanks for joining. Um, good for us to talk about this. Um, 
and we'll um we appreciate everybody listening and uh you know let us know what you think like i said when we have the downloads for this all stuff we'll throw it in the description and everything and uh um and then uh yeah it'll be out so um any last thoughts uh i would just say i i think everybody that enjoys playing showdown should probably you know download it play with it make make a league let us know how your league goes join the discord all the fun stuff definitely join the discord and go use the showdown bot tell us about it yeah Yeah, use the showdown bot go use the bot it's 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 a lot of fun so but don't use Um, it too much because we don't want google (laughs) yeah yeah we don't want to make too many api requests so um (laughs) anyway all right y'all we'll signing off we'll see y'all next time all right